In this video, I want to prove the fact that the absolute value of sine x is always less than or equal to x. Notice that if x is bigger than 1 or x is less than negative 1, then the absolute value of x is bigger than 1 and sine of x always has absolute value less than 1, so the formula is proved in that case for sure. So we really just need to focus on showing that the absolute value of sine x is less than or equal to the absolute value of x for x values with absolute value less than 1. To do this, let's consider the function f of x, which is sine x minus x. Notice that f of 0 is sine of 0 minus 0, so that's 0. And also f prime of x is cosine of x minus 1, which is always going to be less than or equal to 1 minus 1 or 0, since cosine of x is always less than or equal to 1. So in other words, we have a function that's 0 at the origin, and it's always either flat or decreasing. So informally, it's going to have to look something like this. In other words, it's going to have to have f of x be bigger than or equal to 0 for x negative, and f of x is going to be less than or equal to 0 for x positive. So let's consider the case where x is positive and less than 1 first, and then we'll consider the case where x is negative and bigger than negative 1 next, since we've already taken care of x values that are that are they're large in magnitude, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so if x is positive and less than 1, then notice that sine of x is also positive because, uh, one, uh, because x is between 0 and pi over 2. So we have from here, we have that f of x is less than or equal to 0, so that means that sine of x minus x is less than or equal to 0, so sine of x is less than or equal to x. But since sine of x is positive, that's the same thing as the absolute value of sine of x. And since x is positive, that's the same thing as the absolute value of x. So we have that the absolute value of sine x is less than or equal to the absolute value of x as we want it. So now we just have to consider the possibility that x is negative negative, but, but, but no more negative than negative 1. So in this case, we know that sine of x is going to be negative because x is between negative pi over 2 and, and 0. Okay, so since f of x is bigger than 0 in this case, we have sine x minus x is bigger than or equal to 0, so sine of x is bigger than or equal to x, but in this case, since x is negative, x is the same thing as negative the absolute value of x. And since sine x is negative, that's the same thing as negative the absolute value of sine x. And so we have that uh, negative absolute value of sine x is greater than or equal to negative absolute value of x. And if I multiply both sides of that equation by negative 1, that reverses the inequality sign. Ta-da! We have exactly the equality I want. So we've looked at... Basically, this case where x is big in magnitude, the case where x is between 0 and 1, and the case where x is between negative 1 and 0. For all those cases, we have this inequality holds, and that is the end of the proof.